Welcome back. A couple of weeks ago, our favorite feng shui expert shared some tips on making your child's bedroom a more harmonious <coughs> place. And well, today, Carol Heider's back with some advice for parents and their bedroom, as well as the rest of the house. Hi, Carol. Hi, Carol. Um, yeah, we had a lot of reaction from the how to make your kids' room more harmonious and thusly making the family more harmonious. Right. We want the kids calm. We want them productive. Um, so now we're going to work on the parents' room. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Do you have an overview for what we're aiming for here? <laughs> well, the whole theme of these two segments was about the fact that it's summertime and kids are home. And a lot of times this is a very chaotic time for parents and their, their yeah, kids. Yeah, no routine, different yeah, routine. Yeah, everything's different. And although mm -hmm. it's sort of fun, some, you know, most parents will say at the end, oh, I can't wait for school to start to get back to our routine. Mm -hmm. So last time I was trying to talk about, you know, what the kids can do in their own room, in their own space during this summertime to really mark a passage of time and, and move forward. So now we're moving to the parents. Should we start with some photos here? Because you've got some photos of the headboard. You know, every time I'm on here, I almost always mention headboard. It, it really isn't the cure-all in feng shui, but it is really important. Not everybody has a headboard, so you say no, we should. Yes, a headboard is, is a symbol. It's a metaphor about being supported. You want a solid headboard, just like the ones you're seeing here. Oh, I like that bedroom. <laughs> And, the, and okay. that bedroom comes Keep with going. Okay. This is what you don't want, is one that's flimsy, because it doesn't give oh. you the message of being supportive. Mm -hmm. It'd be great for a guest room where they don't need that kind of support, but as a parent, especially during a time of summer when things are already, you're pulled in 20 different you're directions. You're in battle. You need support. <laughs> That's right, you do okay. need support for that. Get a good, get a good headboard, all right. That's right. Uh, then you say, this sounds wild to me, remove the children's photos from the bedroom? I know. Carol. I, this is exactly the kind of reaction I get. But you see, at a time when the kids are so present and so kind of in your face, this is a time to say there's a boundary. Mm -hmm. And so you can put those kids' pictures anywhere. It can be right outside the bedroom. It can be in the bathroom. It can be in the I don't really care where, just not in the bedroom where it's private, intimate space where you sleep, you heal, you rest. Uh, it, You're it, regrouping from the kids, so you want a yes, whole different world. Right, and the idea okay. is not to throw your kids out, it's to really to get your balance <laughs> back. Uh, all right, uh, delineate some areas of the house as off limits to toys and games. And this is kind of a segue to this bedroom thing, mm -hmm. you know, because I go into homes and here's this beautiful formal dining room and there's Legos all over. Mm -hmm. Or I'll go into the, the formal living room and they, 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 there's a whole bunch of kids playing a game, a board game or a video game. You don't there. think that just makes the house kid friendly? Well, it, yes, it could, yes. And sometimes, if it's not a problem, I, there's nothing for me to solve. You know, if somebody says, but I love that, oh, fine, you know, I, I back off on it. But sometimes when I see a frazzled parent, I say, you know, here's a chance to say, you can play that game there, but then take it out when you're done. Or you can go watch videos in my bedroom, but then, you know, take all the stuff with you mm -hmm. so that there's, you realize that it is not your, this whole house is not your space. It's really our space. And, and it res this is the thing I have, and it restores some order it to does. the home, which to me makes me feel calmer. And respect yeah. oh, for one thank another. Thank you, Carol, I love you. Okay, we've only got 30 seconds. Make sure the bedroom is nurturing and keep the kitchen table clutter free. Again, what can we do in the bedroom quickly to, to well, nurture? Well, like last time, the question to ask, the parent should ask is, do I love this bedroom? Do I like it? Is there something okay. in here? And the kitchen, you want to keep distractions down to a minimum so they can talk. Yeah, There's all communication. right. There's communication. Excellent, excellent. I'm going to replay this segment for my family when I get home. Yeah. Thank you. So nice to yeah. see you. For more information about Carol or her upcoming seminars, log on to ShowcaseMinnesota.com and click on the Tuesday link. And